Musk's companies have the problem of being so good at what they do that it's inevitable that somebody will copy them. For example, a handful of electric vehicle startups are replicating Tesla's direct-to-customer sales method and vertically integrated manufacturing process. However, things get intense when a whole country is copying SpaceX and Musk. Join us as we dive into how China has been copying SpaceX and Musk. China is not a stranger to making knockoffs. In that Asian country, you will find many iconic buildings and landmarks replicated to the last detail. For example, you will see the Great Sphinx of Giza, Sydney Harbour Bridge, the London Tower Bridge, the Eiffel Tower, all without leaving China. That's not all. Some Chinese authorities find it a fantastic idea to clone entire cities. Check out this American neighborhood named Jackson Hole in Wyoming that has a copy in China, complete with cowboys, a church, and even Route 66 thrown in as a bonus. The cloning going on in China extends to space technologies, and SpaceX has fallen victim several times. Musk is fully aware of this, and it's why SpaceX does not apply for patents, as he feels China would simply use the published patents as a cooking recipe book, so why make it easy for them? Despite the occasional headache of being exposed to patent trolling, like Blue Origin attempted to trademark the process of landing rockets at sea and potentially block SpaceX from doing the same, Musk believes SpaceX is better protecting its innovations from the stealing gaze of the Chinese. The CEO even alleged on Twitter that Xpeng, a Chinese electric vehicle maker, stole an old version of Tesla's software relating to autonomous driving software. Musk went further to say Xpeng stole Apple's code too. He backed it up with a Washington Post article that detailed how a former Apple employee copied specific files related to engineering schematic and technical reports before joining Xpeng. The stolen documents allegedly pertain to the long-rumored Apple's self-driving car project. If you are wondering if Xpeng is not a private and could be doing all its intellectual property thieving without the knowledge of the Chinese government, it so happens that many Chinese companies have ties to the government or are most times owned entirely or in part by the government. This is not so strange as China's military civil fusion strategy requires every Chinese entity to cooperate fully with the government when necessary to advance its strategic interests. So, when such companies steal IP, it is basically the government doing it. With Tesla operating a plant in China and expanding its production there, Tesla must be looking over its shoulder every minute because by working so close to the Chinese, and in some cases even on the communist regime's turf, Musk is making it far too easy for the country to lift his technology for its own use. One of the strategic interests of China is to overtake the US in the space race. Obviously, the country will use less than legal or fair means, or outrightly illegal means, to get ahead. As Richard Fisher, an expert in China's military affairs at the International Assessment and Strategy Center puts it, China aims to achieve control of low Earth orbit to defeat the United States on Earth. The height of cloning is China attempting to win the space race by stealing technology. In its daring attempt to lift ready-made technology rather than sweat out the research and development, the Asian nation has been fingered in no less than 13 successful hacks on NASA's computers that occurred between 2011 and 2013. While we are not sure China is hacking SpaceX to steal its intellectual property, China is clearly following closely and furiously copying what SpaceX is doing. China is copying both SpaceX's hardware and business model shamelessly. Take, for example, the last National Space Day that China celebrated in April. The nation did have an achievement to celebrate as its Chang'e 5 mission had just returned with lunar samples. However, the biggest rocket manufacturer in China, the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, Colt, set up a booth during the festival to showcase its upcoming space plans. The Chinese government wholly owns Colt, but that does not stop it from shamelessly displaying concepts evidently lifted from creators based abroad. The brazen display featured a proposed venture of providing suborbital point-to-point -point transportation, which involves launching a rocket into suborbital space at one point and landing at another point on Earth. It allows for rapid transport of heavy cargo and could even be modified for human movement. You could move halfway across the world in a matter of minutes. If that business idea sounds familiar, 
This is because SpaceX has been planning to use its Starship spacecraft for the same purposes when it is ready. It already has the US military actively looking into how to make it possible. Moving on to the spacecraft that Colt plans to use for the venture, your jaw will drop at the dedication of the space agency to copying SpaceX. Colt's promotional video shows the spacecraft will take off and land vertically like the Starship. It will be able to lift a gross weight of over 100 meganewtons again like the Starship. The spacecraft will have two stages that will connect seamlessly before separating in flight, just like the Starship. China is using the same shining stainless steel on the exterior and shaped just like the Starship. The upper stage will spot triangular aerodynamic fins that look too much like those found on the Starship. You could have walked away from Colt's booth wondering why SpaceX decided to participate in the space festival in disguise. Colt hopes to have a spacecraft that can transport cargo by 2035 and passengers by 2045. It has given itself enough time to copy SpaceX's Starship thoroughly. If you think China is merely cloning SpaceX's concepts, you would be shocked to learn that China has a rocket made to look like SpaceX's products. For example, the Chinese Long March 2C rocket has grid fins like the ones used by Falcon 9 to guide itself through the atmosphere during re-entry. The Falcon 9 booster is actually a gold mine of inspiration for China as Colt would design its Long March 8 rocket to land on a sea platform too. China obviously employs methods apart from hacking to obtain intellectual property illegally. Like in the case of Apple, it can use its actors who American companies employ to steal data. Or it could attempt to use its network of spies. For example, during SpaceX's first launch of its rocket in 2006, a Chinese spy boat was found in the area where the Falcon 1 would re-enter in the ocean, as claimed by Eric Berger in his book Liftoff on the early days of SpaceX. While Colt copies blatantly, it has the decency not to openly advertise the fact, unlike Link Space, which is owned privately. The Chinese space company presented its launch vehicle, the New Line 1, in 2017. It would be reusable and use a landing system very similar to the one used by SpaceX's Falcon 9. The founder and CEO of Link Space, Hu Zhen Yu, gushed about SpaceX, saying Musk's company was cool and the Falcon 9 was extremely great. He then admitted that his company takes SpaceX as their goal and guide because there were many advantages for them to learn. Link Space also wanted to reduce the cost of space launches by using reusable rockets, an idea Musk has been pushing for a long time to make his Mars colonization a reality. While only the first stage of the new line would be reusable, Link Space would build an updated version that will be reusable in both stages, just like the Starship. Link Space might be privately owned, but it is legally bound to cooperate with the government when required to do so. Only an executive order separates Colt from the technologies harvested by companies like Link Space. China's attempt to leapfrog the US in space technologies is pathetic. However, as long as Musk's SpaceX continues to be successful, it will remain a target for China. Tell us how far you think China will go shamelessly copying SpaceX in the comment section.